Hello by the programmers. So this is video one of our Ursina Python first person shooter game. And in this video, we'll discuss first of all, how to add the player. As we know, this is the first person shooter game. So we don't have to create the 3D model for the player. We just have to adjust the camera on the player. Okay, so when the player moves, the camera moves with the player. Just like you have your GoPro on your helmet or anything. I guess you know what a first person shooter and a third person shooter game is. First person shooter is when you see the view of the player. Third person shooter is when you see the view from the back of the player or the view from a third person. Okay, this was just a quick knowledge about what a first person shooter and a third person shooter is. Anyways, this was the first part to create the player. Second part is to add movement to the player. Third part is to add the platform on which the player will move. We'll add the texture and everything. Okay. Fourth part is to add the sky, the background of the game. So this is the basic skeleton code. Okay. This is the mere structure of the huge project that we'll be creating in our further parts in our further videos. Okay. By the way, if you haven't seen the zeroth video of the playlist, you should watch it as that video will help you understand the roadmap of this playlist. Okay. And not only for this project, but for all the projects that I will be creating in this playlist from the beginner to the very advanced games. Okay. So I guess you should check it out and uh, let's start off with this project. Uh, the first task that you have to do is you have to install Ursina Python. Let me show you the PyPy real quick. Uh, let me show you the PyPy real quick. So Ursina Python GitHub. This is the GitHub repository of this package. I'll provide the link of uh, this GitHub repository as well as the PyPy in the description. You can check out from there. Uh, this is the PyPy. Okay. Copy this. So open the command prompt, paste it here, press enter. For me, this is already installed, but for you, it will take some time because it has some huge packages. As you can see, pandas 3D, pillow, screen info. Screen info is small, but uh, panda 3D and pillow are big libraries. Okay. So this was the installation part. I'll provide the GitHub repository and this PyPy link in the description. You can check it out from there. And for this video, we do not need any 3D resources. So yeah, the requirement section is done. Let's get to our editor so that we can start writing our code. Okay, so now we are into our editor. First of all, let's import the Ursina package. Okay, so we have imported Ursina. Let me quickly save and run so that we can check if there's a spelling mistake or not. Uh, nope, we don't have any spelling mistake. So the importing part was very simple. As you can see, we have imported all from Ursina and especially this first person controller. Okay, as we are creating the first person shooter games, we need the first person controller. So first of all, we are importing everything from Ursina and then we are importing this first person controller specifically. Okay. Then let me create the variable for the Ursina class instance. Okay. Then let me write a few lines real quick. Then I'll explain you that how they work. Okay. So I guess these variables are self explanatory, but still let me explain it to you. Window dot exit button visible. So we don't want any buttons to be visible on our screen. We just want a seamless game experience. We want a seamless full screen game. So we don't want any exit button. Okay. Like this X button. We don't want it here. Then second is FPS counter. Again, we don't want any FPS counter. So yeah, these are the two commands. If you want, you can enable them. Just remove them. Okay. But why would you want so? Then let's do some oops. Okay, so now let me quickly explain you. So we have created this window choice function with this choice parameter. We are calling this function over here window choice with the value level one. So if choice this variable here, if choice is equal to equal to level one, then we'll start our level one class. Okay, so 
let me quickly start the level one class then i'll explain you that what is happening inside okay okay so we have initiated the level one class this is the init function or the initialization function first is self dot player okay player is our first person controller the method that we have just imported over here first person controller then super dot init parent is equal to self dot player okay whatever action we are adding self dot player is the super function okay then super dot init parent is equal to self dot player okay self dot player is the parent then self dot block this is the variable which will add the blocks or the platform for the player then self dot player dot position okay this is the position on which the player is starting from okay then window dot full screen is equal to true which means that we want our game to be in full screen so this will basically add the player to our game now let's add the environment for our player the platform and the sky Okay, so we have added the environment. It is inside this def environment function. First is the sky. So it has a special parameter named as sky. The S is capital here. And the texture of the sky is sky default. There are multiple textures you can choose from or you can add your manual textures, which I'll show you in our further videos, how to add manual textures, how to add manual 3D models. I'll show you in our further videos. This is the starter code. Okay. I don't want to complicate anything in this video. So let's stick to the basics. Then self dot ground. This is the platform on which the player will walk. This is a entity model is plain. Texture is grass. We want our platform to be grass. Collider is mesh. Okay. There are multiple colliders for any object or for any entity. We have cube. We have multiple colliders for this we are using mesh the scale the length the width basically the size of our ground will be 100 100 okay uh, so yeah we have created the environment uh, let's call it environment and uh, let's run our program let's run our program and, and see if it's working or not yep it's working let's move yep our player is working left right jump left right jump now let's jump off the cliff sorry cliff <laughs> okay so let's go so as you can see this is a infinite loop over here okay so yep this was the basic structure or the basic skeleton of our code and uh, this is what the aim of this video was to help you get started with Ursina Python. Okay, we'll be doing many complex things in our further videos. And this is why I don't want to complicate things in the first video. Okay, so yep, this was it. And I'll meet you in my next lecture where we'll upgrade this game. Okay, so meet you there. Bye bye.